The Senate confirmation hearing for Neera Tanden has begun. She has been tapped by Joe Biden to head the Office of Management and Budget. It's an incredibly important government agency and I would like someone who is not tied to all sorts of corporations and corporate actors, you know, someone who has all these conflicts of interest, I don't think should be serving in that role. But I don't really need to make that case because some Republicans made it for me. Now, this first video comes from Senator Josh Hawley, who's an insurrectionist and he's disgusting. However, the line of questioning here is relevant and I believe accurate. So take a look. $665,000, I think, from the personal foundation of Mr. Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. uh, millions of dollars from Wall Street financiers, big banks, foreign governments, Silicon Valley. A million dollars from the managing partner at Bain Capital. Two and a half million dollars from the UAE. That was between 2016 and 2018. Given this record, uh, how can you assure us that you'll work to see that these Silicon Valley and Wall Street firms don't exercise undue influence, frankly, influence that they've already got in the making of government policy and the control of our economy. I mean, what? how can you assure us that you're going to be an independent actor when you've been so close to them to have raised so much money over all these years? I, I really appreciate that question. And I would say um, I and the Center for American Progress aggressively to take on the positions, take on the um, role of Facebook and tech companies uh, have called for higher taxes and companies, regulations of Wall Street, uh, uh, financial transaction tax. I'm proud of the record of the Center for American Progress and policies that will limit the power of Wall Street, limit the power of tech companies. Now, uh, again, this this line of questioning has to do with the clients uh, that the Center for American Progress worked with, how much they spent on um, the Center for American Progress, uh, especially when Neera Tanden was the uh, president for the Center for American Progress, a think tank, uh, which I've said it before, I'll say it again, think tanks are nothing more than an opportunity for lobbyists to launder money <laughs> um, and try to uh, skirt the types of regulations, what few regulations we have on lobbying. So I don't really have much respect for Center for American Progress or any other think tank that gets cited by the mainstream media as if they're credible organizations that should be cited. So I like that line of questioning. What did you think, Francesca? I mean, yeah, it's sad that it had to come from Josh Hawley, right? Like, it, uh, why Hawley, why? Like you, you started to go, in a, the right direction, not the right direction, he is on the right. The point is, is he seemed like a better actor before January 6th. I will say like, I know that Neera Tanden is not the worst pick for this office. I know, I don't remember their name, but there is there are people who are much farther to the right. That being said, as someone who's consistently sort of progressive blocked, um, whether on Medicare for all um, or you know, just like this onslaught against Bernie Sanders and his folks, like, I do not like Neera Tandon, but I do think it's important that she did talk about like her, you know, when she was growing up in the United States, a child of immigrants, she was on food stamps. Um, then her mom got a job, like she knows what it is to be reliant on the government. I, I don't want to discount that or discredit that experience. That's something that I think very few um, people in Washington have. But at the same time, like, She's a total insider and I, I, I wish we had someone better on the table than Nira. And it is sad that we're relying on people like Holly to ask these hard questions. I know it really is a depressing story when you think about it and all the actors involved. But this is a problem that I actually have with several of Joe Biden's um, nominees. Now, Janet Yellen was another example. Uh, Janet Yellen, because it's the conflict of interest, right? Mm -hmm. It's the uh, influence that Wall Street or the corporate world has on these people who would head incredibly important government agencies. In the case of Janet Yellen, she's now the Treasury Secretary. She was confirmed easily. Um, and, and that's because the thing that Janet Yellen engaged in that I disagree with, that the rest of Congress doesn't seem to have a problem with, is the $2.7 million that she made in Wall Street speeches, giving Wall Street speeches, not like 10 years ago, guys. Over yeah. the last two years, over the last two years, that is a problem. But she's not a so, banker, so that's the thing. It's like it's like we're in such a muck that we have to be great. Like some are like, well, look, she's not 
she she's not an actual former Wall Street banker. So like it doesn't matter though. It, she's gonna I make know, decisions I, about <laughs> she's gonna weigh in on issues that impact bankers and Wall Street. And she's know, been paid she, by them. I, Exactly. I think there's yes, it is. It's slim pickings, and that's actually a reason why, like, you know, when it comes to Democratic leadership, like, how can how can there be like a larger base of 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 leaders? You know, folks like the Squad, folks who come from places like you know the public education system, like you know Representative Jamal Bowman, rather than just people who come from the inside, right? And just just people who come yeah. from the already designated elite. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.